What are the three things you must avoid when giving a speech? Hello everybody, this is Chris and welcome to day 14 of my 90 day challenge. And today we're going to talk about three things that you must avoid when giving a speech. Are you ready? Number one, number one is prolonged introduction. Prolonged introduction. This is one thing that you must avoid. There are people who you might have seen and they're prolonging introduction. There's too much greeting of all these people around. There's too much blah, blah, blah. There is too much, you know, sentences being said that is not even introducing the point, the message of the speaker. And if you're speaking, my friend, you have to avoid that prolonged introduction. So what you can do is, for example, if you need to greet people, dignitaries, VIPs in, your, in that occasion, what you can do is to, to when you need to thank the, uh, you know, the, the Toastmaster or the MC, just like what I did in a, um, in a, in a video I recently shared with you, a speech, so what I did was just uh, thank the the MC and say uh, give a round of applause to her, and then I just shared some some lines, some punchlines that is related into some statements that were shared earlier, and people were laughing. And then I shared my one big message immediately, and then after that I I um, I recognized the dignitaries, the VIPs. And then after that, proceeded immediately to the explanation or to the sub point of my one big message. So my friend, you have to avoid prolonged introduction. Hi Margie, who's joining us. Second point that you need to consider, is, uh, second thing that you need to avoid when giving a speech, it's this. You are giving too much explanation you keep on explaining, giving reasons why, this and that, but you are not giving an example or an illustration. An example or an illustration. For example, you are giving the reason why they need to support your, your proposal and you keep on giving reasons here and that, you will be able to save money you'll be able to gain this benefits you'll be able to do this and that but you're not even making it clear and concrete by giving an illustration or an example so avoid that avoid that and to to address that is to think of of ways on how you will illustrate that point or give an example of that for example, <laughs> for example, if you look back at, at the video I shared uh, uh, two days ago, in, in my speech, after I gave my point, I shared an illustration immediately. I shared a story, a flow of events that would illustrate my point. So you can do that as well. And a third is... Oh yes, hello. <laughs> and third thing that you need to avoid is when you share the story or when you're sharing a story, you do not point out the point. You know, that, that is a mistake. I believe that when you share a story, you need to point out the point of the story. You need to, you need to share with us the lesson and if we will implement that lesson, you can share with us the gain, the benefit. So don't just share an experience for the sake of sharing an experience. Don't share a story for the sake of sharing whatever. Please give us the point of the story. In, in one of my, my talks recently, I ended, I closed it by sharing an experience of how I, I left a gift at the corner, a camote, that it was put in the corner and it was, it, it, it was rotten because it was kept wrapped and covered for weeks. 
and then I use that to point out the very importance of unwrapping their gift and sharing it to the people around. And that was the point. And I cannot just share that experience without pointing out the point. So my friend, if you're giving an, uh, a speech and you think you need to share a story, please, can you just give us the lesson and point out the point? Because this is not a, a written material that when you just write it down and you, you just allow them to, to think about the lesson that you're sharing in your story. So it is different when it is used in a speech. You get that? Of course, you get that. So thank you so much for joining us. Hello, uh, Vincent Juan. Uh, yeah, I know I know him, uh, attorney. Junski, Jonathan, Joe Mar, Father Lauren, hello everybody. Thank you for joining us. And that, my friend, is my day 14 of, uh, day 14 of my 90 day challenge, uh, sharing with you the three things you need to avoid when you're giving a speech. I repeat, number one, prolonged introduction. Number two, too much explanation without giving an example or illustration. And number three, not pointing out the point of your story. Again, share your insights, share experience in, in applying uh, these tips, or if you agree or disagree, perhaps, share your insights and share this as well to your friends who may need these tips, especially in their presentations or speeches. Thank you for joining us. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.